This is the most popular flow meter in the RV community, and today we're gonna test it out to see how accurate it really is. So some of you may not know what a flow meter is and how it applies to RV life, so let me explain that first. This is just a battery-powered device that uses a turbine inside to measure how much water flow passes through. The top reading shows how much water has flowed through for that specific test, kind of like a trip meter in your car, and the bottom reading is like your overall odometer in your car. Now you can reset both readings. You can also change the reading from gallons to liters. So why is this a thing in the RV world? There's gonna be a couple situations as an RVer where you're gonna to wanna to backfill one of your tanks. For example, you may wanna backfill five or 10 gallons of water in your freshwater tank on travel day so you can use the bathroom or in case of an emergency. I think the most common use of a flow meter is to backfill a waste tank Remember, when you dump your black tank, not everything is coming out on the first dump. So to get everything out, we need to refill that tank and dump a second or third time. Now there's a couple different ways you can backfill a waste tank. One of them is connecting a hose to your black tank flush port, letting it run and filling up the black tank. Another popular method to do this is using a rinse adapter, again, using a flow meter so we're not overflowing the black tank. Now personally, when I rinse my black tank, I use a five gallon bucket that I just dump down through the toilet. That way I know exactly how much water I'm putting in. But I also know a lot of you guys don't wanna do that. So today we're gonna test out the flow meter and see how accurate it is. First, I'm going to fill a five gallon bucket using the flow meter. And after one fill, we have 5.1 gallons reading on the flow meter. So, so far, this is pretty accurate. Next, we'll keep a running total and fill the same bucket four more times to give us a total of 25 gallons and see the results. This water is not gonna to go to waste because I have some plants to water anyway. Now I can't speak to the longevity of this product since I only just bought it to test in this video, but the readings I'm seeing are surprisingly spot on. We're at 25.1 gallons after filling five five gallon buckets. Now I did get a little overspray on the ground which would maybe account for the 0.1 gallons we are over, but again, overall, I'm surprised and pretty impressed with this flow meter. Now, one thing that we're not accounting for today is quality control. You may get a flow meter that doesn't work as well as the one that I got. So it might be a good idea to test your flow meter on a five gallon bucket when you get it. That way you know how much you need to adjust, especially if you're filling a waste tank. Links to everything are down below in the video description. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you soon.